Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at destructive plate margins. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. When two plates collide, they form a destructive margin. This is also known as a convergent margin as two plates are converging. The resulting effect is dependent on what sort of plates are colliding. There are three types of convergence. The first type of convergence is continental versus continental. If two continental plates collide, they cannot sink into the mantle, so there is no subduction. Instead, the plates are forced to crumple upwards, creating fold mountains such as the Himalayas. This process can cause shallow focus earthquakes, but not volcanoes as there is no magma here. Over time, fold mountains will continue to compress and grow higher. The second type of convergence is continental versus oceanic. The diagram on the screen shows a continental and oceanic plate colliding. When this happens, the oceanic plate, which is denser, gets pushed under the continental plate and into the mantle. This is called subduction. The exact point of collision is marked by a bending of the oceanic plate to create a deep ocean trench. As two plates collide, the continental plate is pushed upwards and buckles into a chain of fold mountains. As the oceanic plate subducts, it melts due to heat and friction, creating magma. Friction between these plates may also cause earthquakes to occur. The magma then rises in great plumes to form steep-sided composite volcanoes. These can have very explosive eruptions. The final type of subduction is oceanic versus oceanic. If two oceanic plates collide, the younger of the two plates will force the oldest plate downwards. This is because oceanic plates get denser over time. This will lead to subduction, which melts the older plate through heat and friction and creates magma. When molten rock meets ocean water, it will cool rapidly to form island arcs, which contain volcanoes, such as those in the Caribbean Sea. Some of these volcano arcs are very active. For example, the island country of St Vincent and the Grenadines experienced a huge eruption in 2021. When Le Soufriere erupted, it released an ash plume of approximately 10,000 metres into the sky. Huge plumes of smoke reached neighbouring islands such as Barbados, which is 190 kilometres away. Here, residents were urged to stay indoors due to harmful gases and they experienced weeks of falling ash, making driving conditions hazardous. People on St Lucia, 76 kilometres north of St Vincent, also saw an impact on their air quality. They had harmful gases causing breathing difficulties for people with asthma and other respiratory conditions. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on destructive plate margins. Thank you for watching.